Hello everyone, Murray Hallam here again and I'm just happy to say that I'm here in a farm at a farm outside of Bangalore in India and it's a holistic farm. That's what I find fascinating about this place. Obviously, I'm going to show you an aquaponics facility, but I want you to look behind me and around me. They've got rice growing, they've got tomatoes growing, they've got chilies growing outside. It's, it's an organic farm in its own right before it even starts to do um, aquaponics and it's just the most wonderful facility. In fact, I venture to say it's one of the best I've seen for a very, very long time. So just have a look at the expanse of this beautiful greenhouse. It's been up here about, I think about six or nine months now it's been in operation and they're in full swing. They're selling vegetables all around Bangalore to the top class hotels and all those kind of places are getting produce out of this farm. And here's the name, Madhavi Farms in Bangalore in India. And uh, it's 100% organic, non-GMO produce. And they can say that without any fear of contradiction because they've been very, very se severe and very, very um, uh, intense about making sure the rest of their farm is totally organic. And obviously they wanted to do something in high production that was modern day. And they found that the only thing that fitted the bill was aquaponics. So here we are. So come on inside with me and we'll have a look around. Wow, we've got here a airlock, and this is to um, keep insects out, I'm sure. And we have a foot wash here. Now that's really good practice. And this foot wash is water with chlorine in it to make sure we don't bring any pathogens or, or rubbish into this beautiful greenhouse. And hey, just look at it. Look at the expanse of this place. Absolutely wonderful. We've got people down here harvesting, all sorts of things happening. Hi VJ, how are you? I'm so pleased to come to your farm. Thank you so much. Nice of you to visit yeah, us. Yeah, it's just great to be here in India and see this great farm of yours. But I just want to ask you, what made you get started on this adventure? Well, uh, the, the way we went about uh, doing this was uh, we did a little bit of market research. Yep. We went on to the website of all these food stores and these retail chains and we found out that they have a quite an interesting variety of lettuces and greens which they import. They Importing from where? They bring it from Thailand. Uh -huh. The jalapeno peppers come from Spain or somewhere else and they, they, the get, they get something else from Hong Kong, whatever, I don't know. Uh, and they sell at phenomenal prices in the local markets. So we you mean thought phenomenally high or phenomenally low? Phenomenally high prices. Okay, so there are people prepared prices. to buy that I mean, stuff. We are talking about, say, uh, Oak leaf uh, red and green selling at something like uh, $15 a kilo. $15 US? $15 US a kilo. So that's a big price. Swiss chard, mm. same price, $15 mm. a mm. Uh, kilo. So we thought that if we price ourselves somewhere one third that price or 60, 65, 70% less, we should have an interesting market. So the selection and the varieties that we chose were dependent on two things one is what is difficult to grow in open field cultivation which people mm. can't manage to grow out difficult yes which has mm. to be done under control conditions so we don't have competition mm. the second is to grow what is currently being offered to the market at very high prices mm. so we come in at that point and say we are much better we are cleaner tastier mm. and we are much cheaper so so we began with these varieties of lettuces which you see, the mm -hmm. black kale, the curly kale, the Swiss chard and uh, arugula and all of that and it's well accepted. In fact, uh, we were a little unhappy that all the orders that came through two weeks before you came, all our rafts are vacant now. You see, we had to, had to send them out to the market. Well, that's a good uh, problem to have. <laughs> <laughs> so, because most buyers in the market, they just don't want to buy a few odd items. I mean, when they want, yeah, they want buy variety, organic, they want, a, they want a cross section, they mm -hmm. want a variety, they want enough stuff to put on their salad tables and all of that. So that is why we're now growing beans, we're growing six, seven varieties of different tomatoes. Uh, we planted uh, snow peas and uh, what else? Uh, that Got is, a nice, uh, not a yeah. uh, very nice sort of Swiss chard down there. Yeah. Uh, and, mm -hmm. and plenty of kale, it's going really well. So. Uh, by March, I think we'll have the full production going. Mm -hmm. 